Hey, lately the whole cloud cohort has been eviscerated here, and some of these stocks just can't seem to catch a break. Tech Service Now, the software as a service company, helps other businesses automate various information technology processes, along with all sorts of back office jobs. For years, this stock was a huge winner, and that's why we made it one of our cloud kings. But the market has turned against the group. ServiceNow, in particular, has been slammed. Then the hits just keep coming. Last night, we learned the company longtime CEO John Donahoe will be leaving to take over as CEO of Nike. While ServiceNow is bringing in the terrific Bill McDermott from SAP to replace him, leadership changes are uncertain. Wall Street hates uncertainty. On top of that, the company had pre-announced some robust numbers from the current quarter. Billings up 28 percent, revenue up 34 percent. And it didn't seem to matter. People were just too freaked out by management turnover. That's why ServiceNow tumbled another 3.7 percent originally today. But then the company reported some great numbers after hours. It gave you the full report. And among other things, we saw a solid bottom line beat. Has the stock finally reached a level where it can bottom and rally can't answer that until we do more homework. So let's check in with John Dono, the outgoing CEO of ServiceNow. And in a few moments, we're going to bring in Bill McDermott, who will be say, taking over the reins of ServiceNow at your end. John, welcome back to Mad Money. Thank you, Jim. John, I've got to tell you, this quarter was just blowout. And one of the things that really influenced my thinking was there had been some downbeat reports that maybe the cloud, maybe software as a service, maybe even your end had slowed down and it was harder to close deals. You just came back from Europe, epicenter of world slowdown. It sounds like you're seeing the opposite. Deals are raging. Well, Jim, what's happening is digital transformation is a strategic priority for every company. If you can't compete digitally, you can't succeed. And ServiceNow was one of the core strategic digital transformation partners for increasingly virtually every company around. So as you mentioned, I was in Europe and met with several customers and several of our big partners. And they aren't focusing on macroeconomics. They're not focusing on Brexit. They're focusing on how can they deliver better experiences to their customers, better experiences for their employees, and drive real productivity growth and ServiceNow is one of their core platforms that enable all three. John, since I've known you and before, of course, the great Frank Slootman, uh, your predecessor, I have seen this company go from a company that I kind of thought was like, hey, I don't want to call my IT department, let's figure that thing out, to then an onboard company, to now basically some company that's going to be a huge player in human resources and is really a uh, digitization leader. This has all happened in the short time that you've been ServiceNow. Well, Jim, as you know, I inherited a wonderful company from Frank Slootman, a company that had enormous potential. And my role over the last, really, in essence, three years has been to try to bring us up into the C-suite and begin to pull us across outside of IT. Because, And the reason for that is employees don't really care if their issues are IT or HR or finance. Historically, software has been very siloed. Cross-functional workflow is the wave of the future. That's what digitization enables. So I've gotten us started to do that. But our next CEO, Bill McDermott, there is no one in the world who has operated more across all the major buying centers in the enterprise. He knows all those software, all the functional software, and all the seams that exist. And there's no one in the world that has greater c suite relationships than Bill McDermott. So he's going to take this even to the next level. All right. Before we meet, uh, bring Bill in, you've been on the board of Nike for a long time. You know, it's a company that both of us revere. Uh, your skill set may be unique to the new Nike, which is about digitization and personalization and technology. Well, Jim, as you said, I have a 20-year relationship with Nike. I've known Phil Knight and Mark Parker for 20 years. I've been privileged to be on the board for the last five. Uh, it is a company that has a purpose that I deeply resonate with, and I love sport. And so my role uh, at Nike is simply to build on the incredible momentum that Mark Parker and that great company have established. Yes, they're embracing digital transformation just in the same way we were talking about a minute ago, and I'm honored to be able to help contribute and lead them into that next chapter. All right, well, why don't we bring in Bill McDermott, who I know is a fellow Philadelphia Eagle fan, and of course, people know as the long, <laughs> long-standing hey, CEO of uh, SAP. Oh, Bill, for, first of all, congratulations. I think this is really important. But second, isn't this the time when then ServiceNow has gone from Frank Slubin, kind of an original guy, to Donahue, Donahue who's taken it to the next level, to becoming now a competitor, yes, with Oracle and even your former company, SAP? Yeah, Jim, first of all, I'd like to um, acknowledge what a great leader John is and the wonderful job that he did at ServiceNow sets up 
the McDermott era very, very well. And it's been an honor to work with John, be his friend, and also to meet all the colleagues at ServiceNow. What a company. I'm truly excited and honored by the opportunity. In terms of the competitive profile out there, actually, Jim, many of these companies should be considered our partners, certainly SAP. Um, the idea of ServiceNow is a pure play in the cloud, a high growth company solving workflow and business process issues for companies. And the enterprise needs a company like ServiceNow who really cares, cares enough to make work work better for people, make it simple, make the user experience gorgeous. And there's so much opportunity for ServiceNow, and I'm really excited to get started, Jim. Bill, I see. Uh the company closed 46 transactions, and I know you were on the call, so I listened to it, with more than $1 million in net new annual contract value. This is no longer a small cap company or a mid-range company or, after, or even a junior growth. Are you ready, <laughs> ready to lead it to senior growth status, or is that too boring for you because you've already done it with SAP? Oh, there's nothing boring about service now, Jim. This is the opportunity of a lifetime. And what's great about this point in my career is that I get to team up with a great management team, an unbelievable engineering team and go-to-market team to really rethink the customer experience at mass scale. So to have an opportunity to take ServiceNow to 10 billion and far beyond to make it the most admired business software company in the world is where the goal starts. So I'm fired up, Jim, ready to go. John, it has been bugging me. You know I love this cloud group and have been the biggest champion on TV. And Neil Bushry, a man we both admire, did say that macro conditions have made it harder to close deals. I never want a slight workday or a deal. They're too good. But you are not having that experience right now. I want to be sure about that because the stocks have been under pressure. That's not been what you've seen. That's certainly not what we're hearing on the customer front lines, Jim. We're hearing that they've got to drive productivity They've got to drive better user experiences. So, you know, the macroeconomics may go up and down over time. That's just, that's just a fact of life over time. What we're focused on and the real opportunity is technology is being used where it's never been used before to drive breakthrough experiences for customers, for employees, and drive unparalleled levels of productivity and efficiency. And as long as there's a return on investment, Companies will keep making those investments, and that's, that's been the focus at ServiceNow. Well, gentlemen, I can't thank you enough for coming on Mad Money uh, to do the handoff. I know you're going to be around for a while. Uh, John, I have to hope I see you when you're at Nike. Bill, I, 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 always, I missed you. I thought you were going away. So glad that you're not. <laughs> John Donahoe, he's the outgoing CEO of ServiceNow, and Bill McDermott, ServiceNow's incoming CEO. You can't beat these two guys. Mad Money's back into the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.